Eggman, you really could have, you know, been a bit smarter with this theory. Yeah. By killing past Sonic, which will eliminate future <laughs> Sonic. Well, he tried doing that. He, no, just, he, he went did it with both of them at the same time. He mostly, all the other bosses were the new Sonic. Why would you do that? Yeah. Oh, but, the first yeah, one. yeah, because the first Eggman fight there was, it's implied that it was actually the classic Eggman there. Which he was Because that's smart. why he was kidnapped. He was kidnapped by future Eggman. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so what did you think of the game? It was definitely better than the other ones. <laughs> yeah, I like it. it. It has its problems, definitely, but I really enjoyed this. I, like, I see what they're doing. Yeah. That's a little medley. No, no, <laughs> and, the pictures on the Yeah, side. and that too, but it's just... If anyone watching this is not going to be able to see that tiny box. They're not going to show Knuckles Chaotix? Uh, no. no. It's only going to show the nine main games they took from. And right. what I was talking about uh, before about the thing about the time meter, some people have had a really interesting theory that the weird thing, the way he worded it, it was a book. It made it sound like when he was the thing he found. Remember at the end of Sonic 06, where Sonic blew out the flames of Solaris and made it so it basically never came to, it never was found. I never, I never did. Oh, no, whatever. Well, that's what happened, and it, it made Sonic 06 never happen. What people are thinking was that what that did was because of how it happened, the thing never evolved, so it was just stuck there in space, and that's what he found. He oh, found no. the final boss of the Sonic 06. The final boss was a giant troll. The final boss was the final boss of Sonic 06, which was Sonic Colors. It's, it's a giant troll. Yeah. They're bringing so, that thing up. Sega did a lot of trolling in this game. I know And in did. a good way most of the time. I'm not sure if they meant to do it. Yeah, I mean, it's not <laughs> confirmed if that is supposed to be Solaris, but a lot of people, there, there are people who have said it, and it does kind of make sense. So yeah, yeah, it was pretty fun. Uh, I, so I guess I'd like to thank all the little people. I'd like to thank this. all the little people. Um, oh yeah, we're still gonna do one last bonus video where I show off some bonus, uh, bonus power ups and super slot and stuff like that. Those graphics, that graphics, <laughs> dem graphics. <laughs> And that getting stuck on the walls. Yep. Uh, yeah, I, I I really did run out of things to say near the end of this uh, play. We but, all did. No, well, except for the final two bosses, which I started thinking of things again. So yeah, for the most part, I had fun with this. <laughs> there were a few times where I got a little annoyed. Kyle's bothered to said. I'm just I'm watching the game. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah. Uh, effect. Dasuke Satoyoshi. Just the one effect. Yep. There was one effect in the whole game. Yeah. Sonic 6. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know if they passed it off already or if they're gonna get to it, but when they showed the voice cast, all of the people in the voice cast, except for the guy who plays Sonic, the girl who plays Tails, all of them use, uh, use fake names for some reason. Even though it's all it's already been said by Sega, who, yeah, who each of the voice cast are. They're embarrassed. And some of them are really major people, like Kirk Thornton, the guy who does the voice of Ryden, does Silver. Uh, He's embarrassed. He's silver. <laughs> I would be. <laughs> and I think I mentioned before, uh, the guy who does the voice of Duke Nukem does the voice of Big the Cat. <laughs> uh, and for some, and he is listed in the credits here, even though he isn't in the game. It's weird. Uh, the, only, so the only time he's actually done big was in He's Sonic probably a hidden it person somewhere. <laughs> no, people would have found him by now. The only part of the game where he's in is one of those trophies in the trophy room, which I'll also show up. Um, so why would he be listed as a voice actor? Oh, I don't know. That's a It's like, why would he be listed as a voice actor? I don't know. I mean, people are guessing that he was supposed to be in the game, but he got replaced or something. I mean, like, maybe he was supposed to be one of the people you rescued. I just don't know. I mean, it would have actually made sense for him to be in uh, in uh, Speed Highway instead of Cream because that's the game he was from. Again, Cream really wasn't in any of the games. <laughs> she was in Heroes, I guess. That's what. I mean, she yeah, and she was on Big Steam. I mean, she made a cameo in the background in the remake of the GameCube remake of Sonic Adventure One, but that's it. That's hey, the only time she's in Sonic Adventure One. They want Big the Cat in this. <laughs> no, we don't want Big the Cat. We need Silver. <laughs> He's more important. Well, at least Silver had a cool boss fight. All oh right. boy, Sonic goes Not sick. Silver, I'm sorry. How about that cat? Blaze the cat. All right. Do you want more? I don't mind Blaze, but whatever. She didn't really need to be here. She, she really is one of the least important out of all of them. At least Silver, you know. <coughs> silver you can laugh at. Yeah, she was just so generic and did nothing. Yeah. 
I, I fully understand why Rouge is in there. Yeah. Because she is a pretty major character now, even yeah. though she really isn't necessary. Yeah. Uh, plus, she's probably the best person they could have put in for Sonic because you know, she treated the shadows of boss. I hate to say it, out of all these characters that are the females, she's probably the best female character for the fact that she has Amy is annoying. Amy's annoying as heck. Cream is just Useless. a little, random little girl with a chow. Uh, Blaze is Blaze, whatever. She's there. Yeah. And then we have that bird from Sonic Riders, yeah. which appears cares? twice. Yeah, the, the Riders people really only appear in Riders, and that's it. They're very lucky. I think they might have appeared in the Olympics games, but I personally played the first Olympics game. Necessary. Yeah. <sighs> so... Yeah. I don't think I know why Vig was replaced. Why? And they really didn't want to think of, have their people think, Is Vic the cat Duke Nukem? <laughs> Hey, Froggy, I got balls to steal. I've seen that coming. I really don't think they wanted that now. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, next up... Well, so don't do that. Well, I'm gonna say, well next up, we're going to do something else. But we're going to have but two plays for sure now. We're planning to do another Sonic game. It's, it's something a little different. I picked it out. <laughs> he did. Oh, yeah, I this is the original out. music for uh, Planet Wisp. See, it's a lot different than the ones they had in the stages here. I actually really like this song. Kyle's bobbing his head back and forth really fast for no reason. <laughs> it's a fast-paced song. <coughs> that bass is going crazy. Yeah. <coughs> Almost at the end of the credits. Oh yeah, um, you could also skip through the credits by holding the square, I think. I, I don't want to skip through the credits because we're at the end anyway. Why would we skip? We didn't skip the end yet. Yeah. Uh, Special thanks to Jane Pick. I can't even Jane remember that name. Jane Pickman. His, his, his screen is so small. Oh no, he had the Nike smile. Hey, there was hey, Big. There was Big. He was He's in the game. See. And Elise was in the game. Oh no. And the Werehog's in the game. Oh great. That's why they had to credit him. He was yeah. on the credits. <laughs> and, and they didn't you credit tell, Elise. Was what is it? It was people shouting happy birthday, Sonic. They, they rec apparently recorded that at something. I don't remember. I read it somewhere, but it was. was. it actually say uh, Sonic's birthday? Like the uh, It's the 20th anniversary. Yeah, but the, the start of the plot here was that it's Sonic's generic birthday. They don't say which one. Yeah. Anyway, Final Cut scene. Probably his 20th. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. That's right. The first game was when he was one years old. Yeah. You saw a door over here. <laughs> you were the one who said you saw a door The greatest over here. character ever. Yep. I know it was one of us. Very shiny. Keep looking. There's a little more, even though it looks like it's ending right here. Well, there's the standing of a <laughs> crash warped. Just pointing <laughs> at each other right in time. crash warped. <coughs> Except they're not babies. What time is it? It's the exact same time as when you asked earlier. And it'll be the exact same time when you asked later. There is no time here! Let me just say that this was a brilliant plan that you <laughs> came up yeah. with. Don't get too self-righteous. <laughs> it'll be your plan pretty soon. That... I'm going to dedicate the rest of my life to forgetting it. I heard that. Do we ever win? That depends on your definition of win. <coughs> Beating Sonic. Oh, well then no. That doesn't give me much hope. <coughs> Maybe I'll go back and get my teaching degree. <laughs> That's not a bad ah! idea. I always <laughs> enjoy telling people what to do. And that is the end of the story. <laughs> I was gonna say, in a way he won, he teamed up with Sonic and saved the day before. Sonic Adventure 2, I think? No, I th yeah, yeah, he did. So, technically, he won once. Yeah, technically. Alright, let's go back in and do a little bit of bonus. <laughs> Modern Sonic just looks so weird in that pose. That's right, there's no more Sonic games, by the way. Yep, Eggman is trapped yep. in time. Yep. <laughs> All other games are fiction, fan fiction. <clears throat> Well, you see, he gets out of a time portal and appears in the middle of a race. Oh, yeah, that's and, right. And, uh, that's the next game. You see, the next, the... I have spoilers, apparently. For the next Sonic Sega All-Star Racing, the final boss is the announcer. Yes. <laughs> and he will be... Oh, yeah, I've heard that the announcer is actually sadly not coming back. I love the announcer in All-Stars Racing, because he's so crazy. But he's sadly not coming back, it seems. Who's, who's gonna do 
I mean, they're going to have an announcer, they said, but it's just going to be announcing generic things like uh, someone's moved up a place or uh, oh. whoever's won the race. It's not going to be uh, any... Uh, <laughs> I can't remember the crazy lines he said, but whatever. Anyway. I uh, got places where uh, I sweat. Don't even sweat. Or oh, yeah. No sweat. I've got sweat in places where I don't even sweat. Um, it's absolutely yeah. disgusting. I can see yeah. why he's not back. Here they have the cutscenes. Um, Pull down. Or select. Uh, I'll do that in a moment. I just want to look at everything over here. You can check out the characters. Uh, is big in here? Sadly, no. Well, I think he's in the trophy room, but that's about it. Uh, there's Metal Sonic. He had a great voice actor, by the way. And 3D game. Yeah. He is the best character in this game, actually. He, I, he replaces the old Sonic. <laughs> Uh, let's see, there's a lot of mu bad music you can unlock in Green Knuckles. <laughs> there's a lot of bad music. For some reason, though, they do weird versions of the Sonic, Sonic 3 Knuckles music. Listen to this. It's, it's like they re-orchestrated it for some reason. I don't know why they didn't just use the original. Um, uh, Maybe sound that way because we're in surround sound. No, I mean, I've heard it, I've heard it just, uh, the actual song itself outside of surround sound. Living in the City. Uh, I think Living in the City is here. Uh, Super Sonic Racing. Yes, it is. Yeah. I really like how Guru made fun of Sonic Racing. Um, praise to win from Sonic Racing. It's such a good song. Uh, um, where was it? I, I know that those songs you mentioned are in here. Um, oh, there's Super Sonic Racing. I thought Living in the City was here, but it's not. But Super Sonic Racing, they use a remix of it. It's a cool remix, but... I can tell. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, uh, I think it's a little later on. There's a lot of uh, art. I'm not going to scroll through all of it, but there's a lot of cool art. Yeah, I'm walking yourselves, Liz. <laughs> okay, maybe I will scroll out just as fast. So there's anything really interesting. Well, that didn't even load. Oh yeah, this is original concept sketches, apparently from the original, from ten years ago when they were making Sonic Adventure 2. Oh, it's kind of cool. <coughs> that one where it's not the next to a car, it was actually, um, concept art of Sonic Grand Theft Auto. Yep. It's not even stealing. Oh yeah, it changes between classic and modern Sonic. <laughs> That's right, modern Sonic isn't black and white. You know, I'm really waiting for them to run out of ideas. Sonic. Yeah, <laughs> they will eventually. And again, if they could bring Mario into space... Well, I wonder where they're going next. <laughs> oh, I know. What? Sonic goes inside the game system. Or goes to different types of styles of games. That would be interesting. Yeah, that actually could be interesting. It'd be interesting. Like a level where Sonic, you go through the whole level first person. Yeah. And then different yeah, other styles, oh, like the whole race. Yeah, I remember style. somebody once recommended some... He was actually a serious reviewer, someone for IGN, who suggested the way to fix Sonic was ma making first-person Sonic. Completely the whole game in first-person. That would be the worst thing I've ever heard of. Yeah, I mean, maybe a little bit in first-person might be cool for a change, but no. Like, a, if not you a select whole game. It, selecting it, maybe that would be alright. Yeah. <laughs> I never noticed before, those are the monkey robots. Yeah, <laughs> they are. You can see the armor on it that pops up. <laughs> Classic Sonic. It's probably original artwork. Yeah. Yeah, it says this is from the uh, Japanese manual for Sonic 1. Come on, now it's just some CD. Concept sketches. Actually, those are actual designs. Final concept. Look at those eyes! <laughs> those are great. <laughs> Uh, that that apparently was supposed to be the original final boss or one of the bosses from Sonic CD. This is round eight, and there's only seven levels in the game. <laughs> the middle top. Yeah, I, I was looking at. I can't look at anything else. Now back to the start. Um, okay, I think that's also. Let's look at these uh, trophies. Well, 